we age. Inside each cell in our bodies, there are tiny structures called mitochondria. These are the body's power plants. They combine nutrients from food with oxygen from the lungs to release energy. As we get older, the number of mitochondria dwindles and we lose the ability to metabolize fat as efficiently. Too many calories and a drop in metabolic rate can be a lethal combination. Fat is much more than an extra inch on our waistline. It spreads throughout the entire body. For the first time, a high-definition endoscope inserted through the navel reveals the full extent of fat cover inside the abdomen. The intestines are smothered in yellow fat deposits. Fat finds its way into almost every available space of our bodies, even inside our blood vessels. Deposits build up on the inner walls, narrowing the tube. The heart has to work harder to pump blood through the restricted vessels. In extreme cases, fat can block the vessels completely. If fat blocks the arteries that supply the heart, the result can be fatal. The heart muscles are deprived of oxygen and nutrients. The muscle risks going into spasm, a heart attack. Heart disease is the biggest killer in the Western world. Fat isn't the only risk to our health as we age. Stress also plays a damaging role. Middle-aged life is stressful. Holding down a job and raising teenage kids. Stress is exhausting, but the damage doesn't stop there. It also speeds up the aging process. Fifty years old. Our bodies may be slowing down, but our lifestyles aren't. A growing family and a demanding career add up to another influence on the aging process. Stress. We all recognize the outward signs of stress. Sweaty palms, shortness of breath, a dizzy feeling. But the real damage takes place inside. Our bodies instinctively shift into fight or flight mode. Hormones, adrenaline, and cortisol flood from the adrenal gland into our bloodstream. Our muscles contract, arteries constrict, the heart pumps faster, and our blood pressure hits the roof. We evolved the fight-or-flight reflex to quickly respond to attacks from predators. To have the reflex triggering so constantly causes irreparable harm to our cardiovascular network. Stress accelerates the aging of our blood vessels. High blood pressure damages cells in the artery walls, 
they become stiff and thick. Especially here in the biggest artery, the aorta. Arteries with stiff walls restrict blood flow. As our blood pressure rises, the heart is forced to work harder. It's a vicious cycle. The more stressed we get, the more we damage our blood vessels. And the more we damage our blood vessels, the less we're able to deal with the effects of stress. If the problem gets out of control, the heart becomes enlarged as it struggles to force blood through our narrow, less elastic blood vessels. High blood pressure can even rupture blood vessels in the brain, a stroke. Most of us learn to manage stress. But for women in their 50s, another factor compounds the problem, menopause. In her 50s, a woman's ovaries stop releasing eggs. They also stop producing the sex hormones, estrogen and progesterone, which signals the end of a woman's reproductive life. As the supply of hormones winds down, it destabilizes the regions of the brain that deal with mood, sleep, and temperature control. When the hypothalamus is thrown off course, hot flashes occur, moments when the body can't set its thermostat correctly. tissues weaken. The woman's body has spent its whole life getting accustomed to these hormones. Now they're gone and the aging process accelerates. Our 60s come and go. Our kids leave home and we leave work we enter a new phase of life, old age. 